Hey, my name is Anapara and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go meet Puppy. Puppy, 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 is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. <laughs> Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I hope they can tell we're sincere, but Poppy, centaurs are just centaurs. They can't read your mind any better than I could. Perhaps you're right. It's just... Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Wait. Oh, okay. Bruh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Uh, so anyways... What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you... Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sigets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called Why is the music so well, fucking loud on the background? if Doran knows one. something we don't, no, I'd right. rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. To the library. <laughs> That's like I'll Hermione's you know favorite place. Okay, girl, be safe. See you later. <laughs> I'm just kidding.
Okay. Now. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will go to Hawksmeat. What? 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 Was it in Hawksmeat? Did it say Hawksmeat? Yeah, ah, outside. Right, 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 right. Right. Right, 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 right. This is Natty. Yep. Okay. Ah, it's not that far. We can just bada bing bada boom, you know. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Yeah. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest Rabe. that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. 
Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. Everybody's just helping a child. Mm. Letter, should you happen upon and it, leaving it I to have the... committed it to memory. You Ebony may destroy to it deal immediately. With. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. but must be around here somewhere. Excuse me. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. Hello I wondered there. if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Bruh. Hey, what is this? I just came from there. Oh, it's all unavailable. Damn, something is happening. 
Nutty. Bruh. Nutty. A girl. Nutty must be yeah. around here somewhere. Nutty's yeah. wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio oh, she's been chopping flowers. Revelio. Nutty! Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Nutty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Ye. Girl! Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. If they hurt her, they hurt Nutty me. must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Locked and guards. I don't want to work with God. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. enough to come in here alone just keep an eye out just keep an eye Of Feldcroft. Hope I never have to see it. That is a trump. If I like it, I'll take it. When you have a cloak like that, who can blame a girl for swooning? <laughs> what did the sheep do? Or book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. I like your your clothes, girl. Did you die? Oh, you're wasting your time with her, friend. I've seen her show you. Avelio. Love letter. Is this stupid love letter? We should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. I am the friend you're looking for, bitch. Revelio.
I guess the love letter would be. Wait, ah. Oh. oh, here we go. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. He must be here somewhere. Mr. Rabe? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. 20 bucks. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Matthew was not able to summon my Revelio. Mr. Abe's wand could be in there. Where? Rebellion. Oh. Hello, Hamora. Mr. Rabe's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Why are you so short? Bro? Be prepared for a fight. This Wait, what about your wand? Be... I never gave her my the, the wand back. Oh shit, I used it by accident, oops. Oopsie doopsie. Storm is coming. Everybody pee the pee. It's me, bitches! Oh. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for 
one time for all. Yeah. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isko Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Well, you ain't doing shit. Yeah. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, Bitch. you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. I don't know what you've been told. See, I am not your enemy. We'll do this one. Sorry, not sorry. Oh. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Good luck. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the Keepers that Renrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This Why am I so tall? This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bradbore's journals. He killed Loggog to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Loggog. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. 
I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. I don't know what you've been told. See, I am not your enemy. Of course, we're going like to the forest shit. Oh yeah, it's this place. Hang on, my eye itches. But if there's one thing that I know... You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. Eh. Confringo! Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Oh, that's the... The last beast that I need. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grab horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grab horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the yep, right I've place. Been there. Now. Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Oh, don't mind about me just going to the deadly place on my own. <laughs> Yay! The professor is really, um, like, just, you know, throwing me to the shark's mouth like good luck oh thank you wow nearby uh-huh it's not very nearby in it but if there's one thing that i know is that you ain't a friend to me what do i need to do to it this place has seen better days this must be the place. Scary. Yeah. Uh. Very well. Lord of the Shore, show yourself. Good luck, Ebony. To, to fight it. Can't we talk about this? Did she say can we talk about this? <laughs> That's my line. We can talk. We can always talk. I should think you'd be a bit weak by now. Oh. Show respect. Except if a bitch is testing you, then fuck I it. I need your help, friend. Look at 
look at her. Bang, bang. Charge attack. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Fasta. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! This is cool. Yeah! Anybody who comes from my way will die. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about this. Yeah! Yeah, bitch. Oops. The ribbon eye from the Islanders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harley. The music. I wonder what what what, what, what English. What would have happened if you would have attacked it? Maybe it would have been like bitch and break my wound. No, I don't think so. I need to check that out if I remember. I want to see what it is. That was awesome though. I like this game so much. I would have never thought that I could actually like it this much. But then again, this game like has been my escape for the past four weeks. You know, it is what it is. Let's go! The last one? The last trial. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Was that it? Oh. Be Bobby's head. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? <laughs> it's 
been looking like I... Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. She gone cray cray. I need you to return to your common room. All right? Why does he walk li like that all the time with the head? Other hat on the back, bruh. Protecting your ass. Is this how they all die? What have you done? Take a breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance, your obsession with secrets. He won't suffer any longer. Not my father, not my students, no one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! Avocado cadaver, bruh. She's alive. Is she really? Cause she looked dead when she hit the, <laughs> when she hit the rock. Like her eyes were like. Avocado, whatever. What are you stepping on? The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora, is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. 
to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. Weasley. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. I mean, he's not even closer to Hogwarts. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Ryandale? Yay! South of the castle, I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Dig things. Dig things. Dig things, you want to shoot. Hang on. Dick thinks Dick is Dick. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. The Lord of the Shop. Uh, what are you doing? song in the okay so what was it that I needed to oh here 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 ba -bing ba -ba -bing. fully upgraded armor once again are you jealous Gotta have this better fuck. Shit. Uh I uh, but on the claws, right? No. Shoot. Okay. Concentration. Sebastian can wait. Let's go to Hogsmeade. Ho 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 Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. 
Hello, Mumu. There's Ollivanders. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Uh, how did how did the saying go? Finders keepers or something. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. Falfmal. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. So, so creepy where her eyelashes go <laughs> it is done yeah. oh looks fancy i should warn you i've never seen a one like this before my suspicion as professor fig implied in his letter is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Nothing. It's a BBC 2000. Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. Dang. That repository is my Sassy. birthright. Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. Hop on a broom and just leave children Ebony. Should be seen and not heard.
why it's lagging? Why is it lagging on an epic moment? Avaka da Kapatepati. Again? Oh shit, perfect. Yeah! Oopsie doopsie, he did. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an owl to Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. I did it. <laughs> That was kind of epic though, but I'm super strong, so... <laughs> yeah, we're strong. We're strong witches. Ain't nobody stronger than we. That was epic. Epic to the epic. <sighs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do this one and then I'll end this in the next one. We're gonna do this side quests he, uh, Was he on this level? No. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the under shit, right? What? What was that? Huh? Wait, wasn't the quests? No. Yeah, it's on the class, right? Motherfucker tried to avocado me. Avocado, get out of You're never gonna believe it! Did I was in an epic... Uncle? Epic fight. I wish yeah, I had I better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. I don't trust you though. Uh... am I supposed to do? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. 
said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline, Addy and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in. You're certainly of more help than. I imagine the bells are just inside the bell tower. this oh must be upstairs oh hello, hello. why well, I haven't seen you before Le Guardian v Van Guardian Levioso, whatever. Levioso. I always go to the wrong place. You don't know how much this means for me hey. and for the whole
But yeah, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. As always, take care and bye bye.